going on guys it's boy JJ now today I have a very very important video now you guys probably read the title of this video I'm just assuming if you're new to the channel I would like to say welcome don't forget to hit that like button actually you know why am I saying hit the like button you haven't even watched a full video yet I'm sorry I apologize for that now for those of you who don't know I play a lot of PlayStation 4 if you're not new to the channel you would know that I most of my videos are on the PS4 and slash PS3 ish um, I do not own an Xbox One, but the Xbox One is a pretty good console. Now, we're talking about the PC in this video. And yes, the title is not misleading. We're not going into a console or debate. Fuck that. We're just going to be telling you guys how to make a very nice gaming PC for near console price. Now, everyone has it assumed in their minds that if you're going to make a nice gaming PC, you need to you need to just whop out like $1,000, $2,000. That's fucking crazy. My personal PC that I'm building right now at the moment is costing me about... $900 and that's a pretty good build but this build is about $513.66 but you gotta remember that price ranges go up for PC parts especially in RAM but uh, we're not talking about that yet so I wanna get right into the build after this quick little message if you guys are new to my channel you should really check out my stream I stream almost every day when I try to stream my best which is on the PlayStation 4 slash PC Minecraft ish uh, type of shit so I hope you guys enjoy that down link below motherfucker also, all the links for this stuff will be down below from uh, PC Part Maker and Newegg. So, hopefully, you guys will enjoy this. And if you guys are wondering, I am recording this with my Elgato Game Capture HD and Audacity. Okay, that's enough, enough, enough. That's enough. Let's go right into it. The CPU. Now, for this little cheap build, I chose I choose a, a i3-4130. Now, I know what some of you are thinking, i3, Intel Core 3, why would you choose such an older um, CPU? i3 is still pretty good even though the i7s are out especially for the price that you're going to be getting this at $116 which is extremely extremely good price for what this thing offers you it has a dual core processor because um but because of Intel's hyperthetic technology it's actually four threads now in case you don't know four threads is almost equivalent to about four cores it ranges around from three and a half cores to about four and a half cores which is more than enough for most games its base clock is 3.4 gigahertz, which is really nice. Um, decent gaming should be about 3.2 or higher, so this is 3.4. Insane single hand performance. This thing is crazy when you're using it, and it's only $116, like I like to say. Also, if you have a nice cooling system, you can get that 3.4 probably to about 3.6. Now, we're going to go straight into the RAM. I chose 8 gigabytes Wintic value RAM. Now, I, choose, I chose another RAM just like this, the one right above it. But the price went up from to a month ago. It was a forty-seven dollars, and now it's ninety-nine dollars. So that tells you right there how much money RAM costs. RAM goes up crazy and goes down crazy. You could have a day where it's five dollars, not true, and then the next day it'd be twenty dollars. That's theoretically. That's never. You're never gonna see a five-dollar RAM. If you do, then please don't buy it because it's it's god awful. Now this RAM runs at thirteen hundred and thirty-three megahertz, which is okay. It's decent enough for gaming um it's basic for video games now eight gigabytes of ram is enough for gaming and video editing so if you're new to the youtube world and stuff and you want to make videos this is a really good build for you it's going to cost you about 77 dollars now thinking that last week when i checked this it was 47 dollars and raised 30 dollars in price that tells you right there that the price can either go up more or the price can go down so i seriously buy my ram first and I try to buy my RAM when it's around sixty dollars fifty dollars so next thing we're gonna go into the hard drive for this build I choose I chose the Western Digital Blue 500 gig by hard drive there's not much to say about this hard drive it's a 500 gig hard drive which is enough space um, it runs at 7200 RPM which is fast enough for a gaming PC and you know it has good enough storage 500 gigs isn't isn't really a lot but it's it's nice it's good enough storage for uh, video games Especially considering that most games nowadays are about 13 gigabytes, especially the next gen games, which are like 40 gigs. Then you're going to eventually need to upgrade this hard drive. But 500 gigs should last you about a year, maybe two years if you don't do many, if you don't do play that many games on it. Now, it's cheaper. So the reason I chose a 500 gig is so you can have more money to upgrade better parts, more important parts, aka the GPU, which is the graphics card, which is next up. So for this build, I chose a 70, ah, I said chose instead of choose, a 7870, which will cost you about $130 for the one I picked out. But here's the bad thing about graphics card, especially this one. The price has changed a lot. I mean, a lot. This thing is $130, but in four days from now, this card could be $200. Considering all the other cards near it were about $170, and this one was just on sale for like four days, 
I'd really want to pick the graphics card up first and then the RAM. So this maxes out most of your current games, slash the few games coming out next year and the year after that. This card should last you about another two years, maybe a year and a half to two years, which you should have enough money to upgrade to an even better card. Now, <clears throat> if this game doesn't run on Ultra, it will definitely run your games on high settings. I guarantee that this graphics card is a really good card. And here's another really good thing about this card, that you do save actually about $120 for this video games you get two free games buying an amd card and this isn't from the amd bundle for the 70 uh, 78 series so that's basically all i got to say about that graphics card now in case you're not a big amd fan and you want oh i want a vega you know an av aga card or nvidia or whatever i chose the 660 um which is you know it's about the same specs the 7870 is actually a pretty sufficient amount better but the 660 is going to cost you about 180 dollars which is not only $50 more, not as good. For the case, I chose an NZTX Gamma, which is, you know, it's a pretty nice looking case. It's sleek, it's black, it, the shape is really nice, and it has good airflow. Six total fan mounts, so you can, you know, buy some cheap, cheap fans and you'll put them on there. And it's cable management, and here's the best part really cheap. This case will only cost you about $30 freaking dollars. That's great. Now, for the uh, power supply, I went a little, little, not not much on this. I chose the C uh, Crosshair CX430. Now, 430 um, watts isn't much, but it is sufficient. Right now, my PC that I'm running this video on is 430 watts, but my new PC is gonna cost about 650 watts. So that's what I want to talk about you guys real quick before I get into the next part and the last part of the video. Power supplies are very iffy. Their prices don't go past like ninety dollars, eighty bucks. Now, if you really want a really really nice power supply that you can buy more because eventually if you want to buy an even heavier graphics card you're gonna need a new power supply in the future so I recommend a 500 watt but for this build I'm gonna use a 5 uh, 430 but considering I bought my power supply for $60 because it was $30 off you can really find good prices on power supplies so if you want you can scope around and find a better power supply for a cheaper amount now this is a plus 80 bronze which uh, in case you guys don't know it just it helps it more with um, certain stuff. It's really cheap. It's only forty-eight dollars, and it runs semi uh, semi. I'm sorry, I'm I'm like the back of my head right now, but it's really cheap. It's only forty-eight dollars, but that price can go down and that price can go up a little bit. But usually for power supplies, they're gonna stay around forty-five bucks to around seventy dollars. So I'd recommend buying a five hundred watt for about sixty dollars if you can just save another ten bucks. Which trust me, ten dollars isn't that hard to find. A motherboard. This is actually the last part of the build. I chose a MSI B85 and blah, 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 blah. It's too long, so I'm not going to say the whole thing. It's really simple and cheap. There's not much about this motherboard that will make your friends be like, ooh, ah, fancy. But it gets the job done. It's a powerful motherboard, and it, but it's, a, you know, it's powerful, and it does, what it, you, it does what you need it to do. Sorry about this. The gameplay is over. I'm just going to continue talking. Um, it supports Haswell, <coughs> which is why we chose an i3 core, and it, which means it supports Intel core. So if you don't want to get the i3 core and you want to get the i5 for 150 which is another $30, $20 from what I told you guys, then you know this, this will support it. It uses military grade components, which means two things simply. <coughs> it's built really well, and it is built to last. This, this motherboard might not be the best motherboard, might not be the best looker. But I swear this thing is really good and it will last you for, I don't know, maybe two years, three years. And if you want to upgrade cards, it's upgradable. But I think it only has one GPU. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Now, <clears throat> it has an X16 PCIe, which is good for, you know, it's really good for the CPU. Um, and I got to say that this, this thing was only about $63. So it's a good price. You can find a better motherboard for probably about 70 bucks, But this is the one I chose for this build. So in total, <clears throat> so in total for this build, it came to five hundred and thirteen dollars and sixty-six cents. That's right, I had to add the sixty-six cents. Not my fault. I'm not trolling you guys. That's just how much the build was in total. So thanks for watching the video. If you're new to the video, don't forget to like, comment, rate, and subscribe. And um, if you want more PC builds, then I will do more. <coughs> my next build <coughs> will actually be a three hundred and fifty dollars to four hundred and fifty dollars gaming PC. Which obviously is not as good as this PC, but you know, it's a pretty decent one. <coughs> Damn, I'm getting sick. What the hell? So thanks for watching, guys. From the IBs, motherfucker.
Thank you.